Welcome back to the Headbangers Ball. It's kind of almost Grammy nominee night because now we've got another Grammy nominated band, um, Soundgarden, us, us, Soundgarden. We have Kim and Chris. How are you guys doing? Oh, fine. Real well. Where were you guys when you found out that you were nominated for a Grammy? Asleep on a bus. Yeah, in Ottawa. Uh-huh. And how, what was the reaction like? Go back to sleep. Why did you wake me up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you get real easy. Well, you know, sleep is a, it's a hard thing to come by. And, um, you know, Grammy nominations, it, you know, dime a dozen, so... Oh, yeah. You know, we just went right back to sleep. And that's why we look so good uh, now, because we got a lot of rest. Did you call your parents? And I did. I called uh, Kim's parents. Mm. And they're real proud. Parents really like that sort of thing, you know. Yeah, those are the things you tell them. Well, they can call their friends and say, you know, tune in on this such and such a night and you'll mm -hmm. see a picture of my son's face on the screen and you'll know that all those years that I spent chasing him around and uh, having him arrested weren't a waste of time. So as opposed <laughs> to seeing you on America's Most Wanted, they're happy to yeah, see you on the Grammy. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, you've got a new bass player, right? Jason mm -hmm. Everman? Yeah. And how long has he been with the band? Since August. So just a couple months? Mm-hmm. So has he, has he just kind of been breaking him in on the road? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And everything's working real good? Everything's working real good. Mm -hmm. Now, um, where are you guys from? Seattle. So you, are you a Seattle-based band? Yeah, we're Seattle-based Would, you, would band. you call yourselves like a Seattle-based band? Yeah, we call ourselves a Seattle-based uh -huh. band. Okay, now we're going to talk a little bit more about you guys on the road and some other stuff. But right now we're going to check out a video from MSG. This is Anytime. Ricky Rackman here with you for the second hour of this Chock Full of Celebrities Headbangers Ball. Coming up, we've got videos from Judas Priest, like Breaking the Law, The Cult's Sweet Soul Sister, Breaking the Silence from Queensryche, Faster Pussycats, Poison Ivy, and Kim and Chris from Soundgarden are still with us. And in a few minutes, we're going to see their brand new video, Hands All Over. Also, Snake and Away from Voivod are going to be dropping by, but right now, Here's Alice Cooper with House of Fire. Lessons on the Headbangers Ball with Kim and Chris from Soundgarden, Grammy-nominated Soundgarden. Now, um, I was reading an interview on uh, Axl Rose who said that you, Chris, were like the best vocalist around. Yeah, he sort of said that. Uh huh. So I guess Guns are a big fan of you guys. Um, Axl seems Axel to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, as as long as. Uh, the checks we send him clear, he seems to keep saying good things, so, you know, I guess... So uh, keep the checks coming. Yeah. Now, um, we talked earlier that you guys are from Seattle. Mm -hmm. Did you create a big buzz there and the record companies come to you, or did you go out to L.A., or...? No, the record companies came to see us in Seattle before we ever went and played in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we actually didn't do the make a demo tape and, and spread it all over the world kind of a thing. We just uh, made our first independent EP, and even before it was released, the, the demos from that um, just got out. Right. Now, um, the record that's nominated for the Grammy is not the Louder Than Love EP. This album, it's a prior one, right? Right. The SST release. And I understand there was like a 15-minute video of these guys or some sort of Rocky Minch. From that album. Oh. <laughs> that's from our that's, newest record. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the SST record was called Ultra Mega OK. This record wasn't eligible yet because it's only been out for a couple months. OK. Now, we're about to have the debut video of Hands All Over, which is off the Louder Than Love album. Mm -hmm. You guys like making videos? No, making faces, usually. Uh -huh. Yeah. No, videos are fun. This one was especially fun because it was in a steel foundry, and uh, there was like a black cancer dust all over everywhere so we're all going to get cancer and so die from this outside. so i hope you enjoy this this will be the video that killed us and <laughs> the danger of making videos yeah, mm -hmm. on the set of the conqueror with soundgarden mm -hmm. okay well here is the debut this is hands all over from soundgarden back on the headbangers ball still with the guys from soundgarden now we just saw the video for hands all over it seems like there's a lot of lyrics in the song, and it goes through a lot of different subjects. Well, actually, it's um, just sort of an environmental thing. Not strictly environmental, but mostly. But it, it's basically about how 
we humans tend to uh, screw up everything that's good enough as it is, or everything that's pure. But not our mothers. Yeah, or everything that we're attracted to, we love to go and defile it. Mm -hmm. and, um, but not our moms. Too bad. But not our moms, no. You guys don't think of yourself as a political band, do you? Or do you feel like you have a statement to make? Well, I don't know. I don't think people really like bands that are too preachy all the time. You know, it kind of eventually you just want to say, why don't you just shut up and leave us alone? So Write a book or something. Yeah, we have opinions, and every once in a while they'll leak through. But if it does, it's more out of anger or aggression or something, <laughs> rather than trying to persuade anyone else. Nothing ruins a great guitar lick than someone with a righteous opinion. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. Especially, you know, guitar licks by a guy with such righteous opinions. Yeah. <laughs> now, you're currently on the road with the Big F and Voivod. How are those shows going? Oh, it's great. Every night is packed. Mm -hmm. It's really wild. Are there certain towns you guys like playing in more than others? Definitely. New Definitely. York's fun. Yeah. Chicago's fun. Chicago's a lot of fun. Philadelphia's fun. Seattle's fun. Um, Toronto's fun. Pretty much anywhere with Voivod, the Big F is a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh -huh. Can you notice a big difference in the crowds between maybe who might be there to see Big F or who's there to see you guys? Or well, it's hard to say. I mean, there's always somebody that shows up with a with a Soundgarden shirt on already. You know, mm -hmm. those are obvious. But aside from that, it's, you know. we had a mismatch your type of audience prior to this tour, anyways. So I'm sure there's some crossover with the rest of the bands. When do you think we're going to hear some new stuff from you guys? Hmm. Sometime in the next I decade. I guess we'll record something, yeah. write a song. Mm. What do you guys do on this furniture? We have guests like you on it. Am I going to have to go to a clinic the after this? Mm. It's suggested. Um, well, thanks a lot for stopping by and look forward to seeing you guys on the road. Right now, we've got a video from the cult. This is Sweet Soul Sister.